this video is about calorimetry. Um, you may recognise this because um, it's also known as specific heat capacity, but that comes up in physics. So a calorie, where the name calorimetry come from, comes from, is um, one calorie is the energy required to heat one litre of water by one degree. And calorimetry, or measuring energy transfer, in this video we're just talking about heating water. So here we have, this is the equation we're going to be using, you'll probably recognise this um, from physics, the energy transferred um, in joules, the mass of water is measured in grams and one gram equals one centimetre cubed of water. The specific heat capacity of water is 4.2 joules per gram degrees and this um, this symbol up here is delta and that just stands for change in temperature and temperature is measured in degrees C. So if you do this experiment in the lab, and this is quite a common one um, for ICERs, um, I've, I'll make a video um, showing you the actual experiment um, after these holidays. Um, but a reason for an accurate result could be um, that there's no lid on the experiment, or after you've added the two things together, after you've started burning things, um, there's going to be energy escaping somewhere or the energy is lost to the surroundings. Whatever the water is in um, is going to be heated up a little bit, whether that's in a beaker or whether it's in a polystyrene cup. They don't get heated up a lot, but they get heated up enough so that your results aren't going to be completely accurate. Thanks for watching. I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests down below please.